In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to cut a six pieces skirt. So this is the measurement I'll be working with. The front piece has three pieces, which is the center piece and the two side piece. And the back piece has a center piece and two side piece, which made it to be a six piece. So yeah, get the knee measurement. I'll so subtract six inches from the inches of every front. Because I've seen some six piece skirts whereby the center piece is too wide compared to the side piece or the center piece is too small compared to the side piece so this calculation will help you to get the accurate line measurements so let's get started so the waist circumference for this client is 28 inches 28 inches divided by 2 will give us 14 inches meaning that the front piece of the waist circumference is 14 inches and the back piece of the waist circumference is also 14 inches the hip circumference is 36 inches divided by 2 that is 18 inches which means that the hip circumference for the front piece is 18 inches and the hip circumference for the back piece is also 18 inches so adding 14 inches plus 14 inches for both the front and the back piece we give you 28 inches for the waist circumference and also adding the 18 inches for the front piece and also the 18 inches for the back piece will give you the hip circumference which is 36 inches now for the back piece we'll be adding a zipper to the center back which means that the back piece of the skirt we have two center back all right guys i'll do away with this and um, paper i used for the back piece so i'll focus more on the front piece now because whatever measurement i get for the front piece is the same for the back piece Now, the next step is to split the waist measurements into three and to split the hip measurements into three. Please take note that the center piece is always the bust point distance, which is the bust pan. So the bust band for this client is 6 inches. Now I'll write 6 inches on the center of the waistline as shown. The next step is to subtract the bust band from the waist circumference, which is 14 inches minus 6 equal 8 inches. This means that we have 8 inches left for the two sides. To get the value for the two sides, you need to split these 8 inches into 2, which is 8 inches divided by 2 equal 4. The hip measurement here is 18 inches and we need to split this into 3 and this will be 18 inches minus the bust span. So 18 inches minus 6 is 12 inches. So we have to split this 12 inches into 2 so we can get the value for the two sides. Now I'll place 6 inches on the two sides of the hip line. Alright guys, so that is all for the calculation. For the wideness of the bottom of the skirt, I'll be making use of 10 inches. But if you want the skirt to be more fuller, you can use 15 inches or 18 inches. 
but please take note that this depends on the top you are using for the skirt. For instance, we are usually given six yards of fabric to make a skirt and blouse. So what I do is, if it's a top with a peplon, maybe a pleated peplon or a two-step peplon, I make sure that the wideness of the skirt down will be 10 inches because I want the fabric to be enough to cut out the skirt. But for a fitted blouse which doesn't consume much fabric, I can make use of 15 or 18 inches for the wideness of the down part of the skirt. Now let's get started by placing down the measurement. The first piece I want to cut is the center piece for the front panel. This fabric is folded into two and the wideness of the fold is 10 inches. The length of the skirt is 43 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance and that will be 44 inches altogether. On the waist circumference, I'll be adding a waistband of 1.5 inches. Now I'll subtract 1.5 inches to get the starting line. The next line is the hip line, which is 8 inches. The next line is the knee line, which is 17 inches. So here is the waistline, the hip line, the knee line, and the full length. It's time to work with the results of the calculation we did. So the center piece is 6 inches wide. Since this fabric is folded into 2, I'll divide 6 inches by 2, and that will be 3 inches. Now I'll place 3 inches on the waistline plus half an inch sewing allowance and that will be 3.5 inches. On the hip line, I'll also mark 3.5 inches. Now I will connect the points. So on the knee line, instead of marking 3.5 inches, I will subtract half inch from that 3.5 inches and that will be 3 inches. The next step is to connect the knee point to the edge of the full length. Now I'll trim out the center piece. The next step is to fold the fabric into two to trim out the center piece for the back panel. So this is an illustration of how the back piece is and you can see that it has a dash line in the center piece which represents the zipper line. But I want to cut the back piece in such a way that the center piece has a tail. Now I'll place the front piece on the fabric I folded. This folded side is for the zipper and the reason why it's this wide is because I want to cut it in such a way that it has a tail at the back. So on this side, because of the boards, I'll be marking half an inch on the hip line just to create a curve so the board sits properly. Now I'll connect this 
point to the nail and also connect it to the waistline as shown. The next step is to trim out the curved side. Have you noticed that when you see a six pieces skirt on someone, the back side of the skirt looks like it's pressing the butt flat? And the reason is because this half inch wasn't added. The next step is to mark the zipper allowance. On the waistline, I'll mark one inch. And on the hip line, I'll mark two inches at the side. And on the knee line, I'll mark one inch at the side. Now I'll connect the knee points down to the edge of the fold as shown. So I'll notch the zipper allowance. So this is the center piece for the front panel. Why this is the center piece for the back panel? For clarity, this is the zipper side allowance. And why this is the side that has a little curve in which I'll be attaching the two sides of the back piece too. So the next step now is to use this center piece to achieve the four piece at the sides. Now I'll fold the fabric into two and I'll further fold it into two again. So I practically folded this fabric into four. The next step is to place the center piece on the fold so this fold will be giving us the two side for the front panel and the two side for the back panel making it four pieces now i'm going to mark half an inch for the both spacing here then i'll connect this point to the knee line and also to the waistline as shown Now I'll trim out this curved side of the butt spacing. The next step is to trace out the lines back. On the folded fabric
in the front panel won't be needing a butt spacing so i'll place the ruler here to rule a straight line connecting the knee line to the waistline as shown this means that the curved side will be for the back piece while the straight side will be for the front piece to get the hip curve of the skirt now on the waistline we have four inches at the side i'll place the tip starting from this line to mark four inches plus two inches to in allowance and on the hip line we have six inches so i'll place my tape starting from this straight line to mark six inches and i'll add two inches to in allowance to the side to get the knee measurement you divide the hip circumference by four minus 1.5 inches and that will be 7.5 inches plus 1 inch in allowance and that is 8.5 inches the next step is to connect this new point to the edge of the fold So it's time for me to trim out the excess half inch curve in the front piece. So I'll pick two of this piece. Then I'll use my scissors to trim out the excess curve. Alright guys, I'm done with the cutting. And this is the two side for the front panel and this is the center part of the front panel the measurements we have four inches here plus two inches in allowance included so here we have six inches and the other side we also have four inches and on the hip line we have six inches here plus two in allowance included then on the center we have six inches and on the side we have six inches plus two inches in allowance included. so this is the back piece of the skirt we have two center back because of the zipper and we also have two sides for the back panel Alright guys, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Thanks for watching to the very end. If you have any questions, kindly drop your questions in the comment section. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, share and like my videos. Thank you.